All right, thanks for watching and let's get into the rhythm with some logarithms. So let's start by playing a fun little game. You start with one dollar and every time you play the game, your money gets doubled. So after the first round, you get two dollars. After the second round, you get four dollars. After the third round, you get eight dollars. Any guesses? How much money do you have after N rounds? Two to the N. Very good. In other words, after N rounds, you get two to the N dollars. So the question of how much money you get after N rounds is completely settled. So instead, let's ask a more interesting question. Namely, after how many rounds? Rounds, do you get $32? And notice the answer to that relies precisely on just writing 32 as a power of 2. So the answer is, well, 32, it's 2 to the what? Well, it's 2 to the 5. So in other words, it just takes five rounds to get $32. And you see this exponent is so important, we have it, it has its own little name called the logarithm base two. And so that's the most important definition for today. Namely, if you can write x as 2 to the something, so if x is equal 2 to the y, then that y, we call it the log base 2 of x. Why? It's simply the log base 2 of x. In other words, the log is nothing other than the exponent you have to raise 2 to in order to get x. And I know it's very convoluted, but let's do a lot of examples to get a feel for this. But again, I want to emphasize it really answers the question of x equals 2 to the what. This what is what's called the logarithm. So, a couple of examples. For instance, the very first thing we talked about, so what is log base 2 of 32? Well, 32, which is x, you can write this, again, as 2 to the 5, which is y. Therefore, the log base 2 of 32, it's nothing else than y, which is 5. And for instance, try out the following. Let's find the log base 2 of 16. Again, what power do you have to raise 2 to in order to get 16? Well, 4. So again, the log is precisely this exponent. So log base 2 of 16 is 4. And notice you can also do this with other numbers. So for instance, Let's do the following. Let's find. Let us find the log base 2 of 1 fourth. Again, it just boils down to writing 1 fourth as a power of 2. So 1 fourth is 2 to the what? Yes, it's 2 to the minus 2. So log base 2 of 1 fourth, it's minus 2. 
again, the exponent you have to raise 2 to in order to get our number 1 fourth. Or in other words, 2 to the what equals 1 fourth. Or you see it happen, it works not only for non-integers, but also, let's say, for square roots. So how about log base 2 of square root of 2? Again, square root of 2, it's 2 to the what? Well, it's 2 to the 1 half. So log base 2 of square root of 2, it's 1 half. Or maybe more interesting examples. How about log base 2 of 1? Again, 1, it's 2 to the what? Well, it's 2 to the 0. So log base 2 of 1, it's 0. Or maybe a couple of other interesting scenarios. What about log base 2 of 0? That's quite interesting. In other words, 2 to the what equals 0? Well, that's a little problem. Because 2 to the anything is positive. I would like to remind you the graph of 2 to the x. It looks like that. So it never crosses the x-axis. So in other words, it's impossible for 2 to the anything to be 0. So in other words, what we say, well, in this case, there is no answer. Log base 2 of 0 doesn't exist. doesn't exist. In other words, log base 2 is undefined at 0, just like 1 over 0 doesn't exist in the same sense. Or similarly, what about log base 2 of minus 3? Again, can we raise 2 to the sum to some power to get minus 3? Again, no. So it doesn't exist. In other words, notice for 0 and actually any negative number, the log doesn't exist. And in fact, here's a very important fact to remember. Namely, the log is only defined for positive numbers. Log base 2 of x uh, is only defined. for positive numbers. Real numbers. In other words, the domain is all positive and real numbers. And that is that, but again, I really want to emphasize that the log can be also defined for non-integer values, like log base 2 of uh, 1 fourth or log base 2 of square root of 2. Last but not least, why really care about this issue? Well, um, again, in terms of the game, if I tell you, let's say, it takes a thousand games to win $10, you probably don't want to play that game. So um, really, you don't only care about the money, but also how long it takes to win a certain amount of money, and that's precisely what the log tells you. Let's say log base 2 of 1,000 tells you how many games you have to play to get $1,000. And you really want to make that number as small as possible because you want to um, you know, get a lot of money very quickly. On the other hand, one more real life application. So right now, a big deal is the coronavirus outbreak. And it turns out you can also model that outbreak using a similar function, exponential function. And Again, what would log base 2 of 1,000 tell you? It would tell you how much time you have to wait to get 1,000 cases. And paradoxically, in this case, you want to make this number as big as possible because you want to wait a long time until you actually get 1,000 cases. All right, thanks for watching, and that's it for today.